This is Chad Gardner, and this is my version of a beach stereo. In front of you right now is a transit case that I got from Dermo. Dermo is the United States government's version of a salvage yard. It's where people can go as civilians or duty personnel and acquire things for a price, um, things that were used in DOD applications. This case in front of you is a Pelican case that normally application would be used to be thrown out of helicopters or or other um, transit transit vehicles. So in my version of the beach stereo, this is where it's all compact and ready to be deployed um, or carried to a beach or carried to a pool. So you'll note on the side here we have a very nice handle here that you pick up like so and then you just carry it weighs probably about 30 35 pounds I'll be getting to a little bit more in details of what this is this is the right and left stereo speaker output for the stereo on the other side we have a standard uh, three-pronged 120 volt uh, standard AC jack for um, in America. Now, what this means is that when I am close to electrical outlet, I can plug it in, power the stereo, and charge the batteries that are within. This is the transit case opened up. So you'll see right in front of you is the amplifier. The amplifier is a topping TP21 uh, or dash 21. This is um, about a 30 watt or a little less per channel amplifier. You know that it's very simple. It has a left and a right audio input and then the standard stereo output. So it's mainly used as a power amplifier and that's it. It's not a uh, uh, a preamp it's just in fact a power amp and it has um, a little on and off switch toggle switch there so these are the speakers of the system they are Dayton Audio B as in Bravo 652 six and a half inch two-way bookshelf speakers they're rated as audiophile as the best bang for your buck under sixty dollars audio response and the THD of the speakers is, is about as good as you're going to get at this cost. To the left here, you see two 12-volt battery sources wired in parallel. Um, these provide the power to the topping amplifier when it's at a beach or there's no power source located. As we move down here, we see a toggle switch. This toggle switch is meant to go between just straight battery power and to this, which is the power supply when it's plugged into the shore. Now the reason why there's a toggle switch is that I want to decouple the battery from the actual power source of the amplifier as that this amplifier power supply is not made to charge batteries and that the battery charger that I have is a pretty noisy um, amplifier or noisy um, circuit as far as audio. All right now that you'll see that the uh, stereo has been deployed, what I mean by that is that the speakers have been taken out and they've been hooked and they've been hooked up via standard stranded stereo speaker cable. Now you'll note that right here. This is the input to the stereo. It's an iPod connection for a standard iPhone 4 all the way to the original iPhone. I did this because I didn't want to deal with the headphone impedance mismatch that would happen out of the top of a normal phone. So there is a straight standard line level um, connection. Now you'll note that on the left I did mention what this was for before and as you can see this, the speakers are hooked up now if we go inside here a little bit more we see 
to the that dark spot but that's actually the battery charger that is hooked up to the 120 volt source that would normally be connected right here so it can operate in both modes now the point of this system was to have an audio file grade portable system that would be somewhat weatherproof these speakers are cheap enough where if they need to be replaced they could be but yet robust enough that they could withstand normal elements the other feature of this case in the system is that I can in fact shut the case completely down lock it and prevent any elements getting inside the electronics the speakers themselves like I say are a little bit robust in the fact that they could be done with outdoor applications and there you have it that's the basic overview of the beach stereo by Chad Gardner